Oh. When it became legal, now she's like, you, you can't, you can't do that stuff no more. You can't do that. That's, or, but she only wants you to quit. Like when I'm on marijuana, I lose control. What might, what am I supposed to do if I have Asperger's and I don't know how to panic and respond? Like I'm a responder, so if you talk to me, I'll respond back. If you're correct during a fight, I'll, I'll congratulate you and say, "How did you know?" Yet that makes you still want to go. I'm not starting starting to fight just to fight. I just want to know why, mate. It's not crazy. I know you're mad. You don't tell me why. Why come at me, man? I know you want to have a swim with me, but I just want to talk to thee. You get you want away from me. You don't really want to be. I would rather hide my problems. Cause I don't need them. Sometimes I need them, but see, some things people see what people don't want to see. I thought I thought being yourself was what you're supposed to be. I guess it doesn't work anymore. Be yourself all your life, but it's bad. Huh. You are who people say you are. This guy called me a stupid inward. I said, Oh my god, thank you! How'd you know? Like, See, he was mad that no one was sending him pictures of the events we were doing for him. Well, he wasn't really a part of the band. Like, he thought he was, but he didn't do anything. I don't know what he would do. He, he just, he'd be boring. He'd just not move. So I told him to perform like Tiesto does. Then he just gets mad and, and is like, like, he wanted to call me too to get his pictures. I told him three times or more that I would, yet he, he, he came at me like I didn't know what I wanted, like, like I didn't really mean it. So I told him to perform because he didn't do anything. For the second time. Like, don't. That's the final straw. Don't call me. Text me. Don't fucking call me. I don't want to be calling you. Or you yelling at my ass. Like. So he got mad. Didn't want his picture taken. So each time he said that, he called me a, ba a bad name. So he said, don't take my picture. My hand came up and took a picture. Not intentionally. It just came up. It's natural habit, you know? I'm a concert photographer. It just happens at the moment. Secondly, he said, you called me a stupid N-word. Don't take my picture. So I'm like, oh my god, thank you. How'd you know? So up came my camera. Snapped the picture. Like, each time he said, don't snap my picture, like, my, my arm would just be like, out of habit. I'm just used to taking a picture. See, my brain sees in pictures, because lately I've been seeing a cougar outside. Like, I've been smoking outside lately, right? And each time I come out here, I keep hearing, like, the wind, rustling of the branches, and all that shit. And I keep thinking there's a fucking mountain lion in there, which I call it, which is also called a cougar. So I'm like, fuck that cougar. So any time I'm out here smoking at night, because people don't approve of smoking in the house, smoking plants in the house make people mad and gel house. The thing is... I just dropped my motherfucking lighter, but hey. Fuck that cougar. Fuck that cougar. He's always chasing me. Fuck that cougar, fuck that thing. Chases me all the time, slicing me and dicing me and turning me into chowder. Fuck that cougar, I fucking hate that thing. Fuck away, fruit fly, fuck away, fruit fly. I'm gonna fucking kill you down, motherfucking ginger brown. Medium rare. So, after I have like two with two bowls, I'm like, fuck that cougar. I can hear, I can hear most every sound. Cars in the background, jet up in the, jet up in the sky, flopping bird. See the wants the flower, wants the leaves up there. And the insects underneath everything. 
bird, the chirping, silent chirping birds. There's the crow. The crickets. I like, I like the sound. The crickets are nice, especially at night. And there's like every sound coming around at night. See, at night it's silent. If there is sound from the wind, the rocks, the creaking trees, and the rustling leaves, and the louder crickets. Those cicada bugs are weird. Um, so your mind is like, I know it's the cats, but when you see in pictures and the giant cougar flashes before your face in vivid detail of what it looks like, fuck that cougar, fuck this, fuck that cougar. I hate that fucking cougar with all my life. <laughs> Confetti. I also like, I also hate double cross liars. See, he'll tell you, sure, you can come in and record in our studio. You get serious, they're like not interested. Like, why did you lie to me and tell me to my face through a computer that you wanted to do it? My style is called psycho. This is why you have to hire kids. Kids will make anything, because they want to. They're humble on that. Some kids are humble. And sometimes you just want to make things. It's called, my music is all called Psycho. Everything has to be ready to go in one minute or no. Or no, I don't do that. See, I'm not an artist. I'm an improv artist. I make it up as I go. It may sound stupid, but... You know... When you're ready to go high and drunk, release that funk. It could be delicious. When I get excited, people run. So I should put this in, in the songs. I'm really, really happy, really, really mad. I got energy when I fucking said. With time, you calm down. But hey, it's fun. Go and hide, everyone, screaming like a random crack addict. I don't see nothing wrong with it. It's called it's called rant, ranty cycle. Ramp real, real fast. Scream out fast. Watch your music turn into crap. It may be all right, but I don't understand why people don't want to make that shit. Man. Like I've been fighting constantly for the past six months to get into a studio and record a song for what the fuck. Don't know what to call it. Of the song. What about brain drain? But like you gotta put my brain, my brain in the drain to feel my pain. I'm always bitching. Is everyone bitching? Raining Mother Nature on me. Yeah.
Yeah. Ouija Mac said, wow, great voice. Looked at me and shook my hand or something like that. Or he said, just shook his hand. He looked at me. Hi! Shit, I heard the chair move. I just love the way you smell. You smell so dead. Like your decrepit head. I know you're mine, but I drew you from painting and fishing line. Yes, you try to eat my heart. You try to plop it like a pop tart. Yet you don't really love who you like. Sometimes lives fight. Shit, come out, take your bike. Sometimes people get mad, people get sad. I don't know why, but they just do. People hate you, people love you, people want to murder you all the time for just no, doing nothing but a simple crime. Like kissing someone's aunt twice. Someone's other, not my aunt, someone else's aunt, hot aunt. Like Aunt Bertha! Aunt Martha, so sexy when she booed it. Her goody go, goody goody goody, booty booty booty. Like goody is a good girl grandma is. Like in the south, we got these big old butts. And people, like these fat women with those nice curvature bums are falling and hurting themselves everywhere they go. So we need to help them. Get a butt wheelchair. Like, it's a butt for, it's like, I know their butt can't handle their weight no more, so it has to be on a, like a butt chair. You walk. And this machine holds your bum. Could be a butt belt with wheels. Like, I am myself rotund. Yet, when you're 84 and have a grandma booty from, from the ghetto hood and you're black or maybe white. With a giant... What's, what's a... What's, what's, what's a... Black, a black booty on a white woman called? Wooty? Wooty? Yeah, bo booty. But they say they say booty, booty. I don't even know what they would call grandma booty in Canada. You like? See, if your booty big as a ramp, don't go back. Cause you'll fall out. It's stuck, man. Like I saw this booty. She wasn't, I picture, you ever been to an Italian store grocery where all the aisles are smaller, are like, tiny, and only a small child could probably fit through them, or like a really cool looking dwarf, or midget, or little person, or person person? Um, that's how small it was. So, me, in my picturesque, picturesque, picturesque mind, basically... Pictured her giant ass making all the products come down. Oil, chili oil, pastas, glass, everything, drinks, juices. This just falling to the ground. So, I don't know why a woman would want an ass like that. But some of them, some of them Italians have the nicest, thickest ass. They're like tan brown. Ooh. That's a hot woman. I picture things in details.
Rule one. How do you not piss off the sponsor if the sponsor is being a dick? Don't drop him. I hit a fly. Don't drop him. My nail hit it. Um... I like Mother Nature writing on me. Yeah, I think it's Shark Week again. Oh! <coughs> Ooh, thunder! She's getting more she's getting more bleedy. Like Earth is cool. It's a cool organism. It evolves with you. You poison it, it poisons you back. You, you you give it energy, it gives it back. What is wrong with you? Why do you think it has so many mutations? You guys. And there's like a there's like a a sea in Canada that you can't go near because it's so green because all the pollutants have made it nuclear. looks new there. Like, Earth creates what you want it to be. We should be trained to hunt. Hunt our food. Kill our food. Say goodbye and give it back to the earth. Just to give back. So! Hey! How you doing? Jorge's Jorge here. What you doing? I got a knife to your face, cut you in half, and make you into tuna steak. I know you want to be today's special, but yet I am out of special sauce. I'll just take it out of your coolie diabetes blood. Well, I'm Jorge. I'm Jorge, a serial killer baby. I'll cut you apart and forget about the layaway. Oh, hey, I'm a little bit crazy. I'll cut you in half 
and steal your intestines to build my blow-up giraffe. You try to be crazy, yet inside you're lazy, always bitching around like you're some fucking clown till I come around and take you out around my knife as you spin around, coming off like grocery stamps, coming off like bits of paper. Watch the blood flood apart like chunky bits of Kool-Aid. Watch your body part come apart. Watch it go into bits and parts. It's okay, you're not there anymore that you're dead. But hey, I just disembodied your head. Good question. It seems to be people like heads. Blowing apart or being blown to shreds. Yet, I don't know what to do. Yet, a nice step to the head is nice, but sometimes something is better. See, the heads are easy. You can cheap it. But the body, body, body shots are hard shots to pull off in the in the FX industry. Like, like, like CGI still have not got it yet. The only, only one that almost got it right was still to this day. Hatchet. One of the, one of the baddest, funnest movies I've ever seen. See, it has a lot of heart and it has a lot of fun. It's gory for the sake of fun, but yet it's intense. Like each time you see Victor Crowley come, you're like, oh fuck, no, 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 not him again. Like, each time he comes, I get, I jump. Like, you ah! Like, it's a scary movie. It actually genuinely tries to be scary. Even if it pulls it off in a cheap way, it's still a great fucking movie. I still don't know about the Slip album, the Slipknot album, though. It's like, it's good, but it's not, but it's okay, but it's hard to say what it is anyway. It's a convoluted plot. I don't know what to do. It's not that great, but hey, some good songs are great. My favorite song still is 